afternoon. Senator Ted Kaufman is a Democrat from Delaware, the man who now holds the seat vacated by Vice President Joe Biden. Senator, congratulations on the new job. Thank you. And, and, and it came without much of the drama surrounding some of the uh, replacement senators from other states who at this point, um, well, and New York shall remain nameless. Let's begin, uh, Senator, if you will, the business at hand. Uh, you've got a couple nominees to vote on today. Geithner, the nominee to run Treasury, he's apologized for not paying his taxes. Do you think that that's an issue at this point? No, I do not. I think he's uh, well qualified. I think there's a incredible consensus among all types of uh, observers that he make an excellent Secretary of the Treasury, and I think that will be fine. Uh, Senator Kaufman, good to see you again. Good to see you, Carlos. Um, talk to me about the stimulus package, $825 billion, some worries by uh, President Obama that it will get larded down with pork and other things as it works its way through Congress. Do you think the president will get the stimulus package passed by Valentine's Day, number one? And number two, do you think the final price tag will be north of a trillion dollars? You know, I, I never feel comfortable, even when I was working here, forecasting when the Congress will get through with the bill. So I don't know whether Valentine's Day is realistic. I think just the opposite is going to happen. I think the members here are really committed to uh, the uh, spirit and the uh, challenge of uh, President Obama. And I think we'll end up with a good bill. Senator Kaufman, do you get the sense that, uh, say, Senator Cornyn, by holding up uh, Hillary Clinton's confirmation or some of the tough questions aimed at Geithner during his confirmation hearing today, does it seem to you that Republicans want to make a gesture that they're not willing to just roll over for the Democrats? No, I do not. I think they are serious people making serious questions that they think are realistic. And, you know, just because we're for bipartisanship doesn't mean we're all going to agree on everything. There's still very basic differences between the Democratic and Republican Party. And the members here, I think, should be expected to get up and say whatever they think about what is happening. So I, I don't think that uh, we're not always going to agree on everything, but I think there is a new spirit of bipartisanship. I think the president's speech yesterday, I, I know the vice president well. I think they're really committed to bipartisanship. So I think this is going to work out uh, very, very well. But I do not object to members getting up and ex expressing their opinions and, and, and the fact that they disagree. Senator Kaufman, uh, we know that there are, we're involved in two wars right now. There are a number of other international hotspots. And obviously, your former boss and now the Vice President, Joe Biden, was chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. How active do you think he'll be on the international front, uh, particularly over this next year, whether it's the question of Gaza, uh, Iraq, uh, Iran, North Korea, other places? I think it'll be exactly what he said, in which his agreement was with President Obama, and that is he's going to be the president's principal advisor. So I think he'll speak up on those things. I think that he's very knowledgeable in this. He has a very good relationship with the new Secretary of State when she's appointed. He has a good relationship with Jim Jones, his national security advisor. So I think it's going to be a team that's going to work on those things. And I think you're right. Senator Biden's very knowledgeable on these things. And I'm sure he'll be right there with the president advising him every step of the way, not Sen just on foreign policy, but also on domestic policy. One more question for you here, Senator. I know that we're looking toward the future here. But in two years, when this particular term is up, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to leave. I, 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 would, I would never run for office. I mean, one of the great things about this is, is the ability to serve for two years and not run for office. It gives me a big chance to, to really get to work right away. And also, as a matter of principle, I don't think appointed officials in general should run for elected office. The incumbents have an incredible advantage. I have great faith in democracy. I think it's up to the people to, to pick. And I think in this case, the people of Delaware in 2010 will pick the United States Senator. And I'm very comfortable with that. In fact, that's what I want to happen. Senator Kaufman, very good to see you. And uh, we hope to have you again on the show many more times. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Contessa. Glad to be here. Well, move over Milan and Paris. This is high fashion, Chicago style. Still to come, the First Lady's one-woman design stimulus. Michelle Obama 